WizIQ Basic Training, Module 215, 215. Screen sharing. This is the first part of at least two parts. Okay, there's the button. Now, um, one interesting thing before we go further is that when I give writing control to a student, like I have Channel 1, not only do I have the ability to do a screen sharing, but let's go look at the, the student's view. He, he doesn't have the poll button we just looked at. He does have the ability to do screen sharing. Okay, But we're not going to get into his issues. We're still dealing with our issues. So, first time you click on screen sharing, um, it takes a while. Uh, if you click on it again later, it goes much faster. So let's see what happens. We click on screen sharing, and it says features enables. You might see a note that says you have to load a certain program. Right here, click here to install if you do not have but we do have it so we click it and let's see 1001 1002 1003 it takes a while and it might even take longer on their screen but we'll look at that yeah we're using a lot of bandwidth right now trying to it's actually trying to coordinate with the um, okay so it's still trying to get started um, Part of the problem might be because I have two browsers open running right now. Okay, so it is running. Now, I'm not going to X this out. I'm just going to move it off to the side. And let's go look at what's going on in theirs. Okay, sometimes theirs runs slower. Okay, so remember, and it is running slower. Look at that. It's kind of behind us, and it's trying to follow us. Um, the, it's a funny thing with the screen sharing. Uh, you will want to have someone with their microphone on. Before we begin, I would have wanted to give someone the microphone because when I'm in screen sharing, I don't, I'm not necessarily looking at my chat box anymore. I might be showing my computer screen, okay, and doing things on the computer screen. Let's go to a, a nice image somewhere. Oh, let's just look at my own computer background screen. All right, so see, that's a nice screen, but in the, oh my goodness, I am getting so mixed up. I'm looking at screen and the screen and the screen, but, all right, let's go back to our main screen and stop that business. Um, the main thing is, is that when you normally run video, it runs at, um, I'm thinking 30 frames per second. When you go into screen sharing, it goes down to 15 frames per second. Things get choppy. Things are slower. The pictures aren't as clear and nice. So that's something to be considering about. Um, I think that some artists wanted to use WizIQ platform, but it did, it did not work that well for that. All right, so now, while we're here now, let's go ahead and stop our screen sharing. And we're going to look at what happens to our viewer screens. Oh, look what happened. They lost their chat box. Always remember to tell them that after screen sharing, and that's kind of like a bug right now, it's a good bug because you want people to focus, but they need to redock their chat box and stuff. Okay? That um, that's one of the things that happens when you do screen sharing. Let's do that one more time. We've got a minute left. Screen sharing. Let's see how fast it goes this time. Click to start. 1001. Boom. You see how fast it went this time? So if you're going to be doing screen sharing back and forth a lot during class, uh, get it started early in the class while you're goofing around, and then it really jumps in back and forth nicely for you. And don't lose this button because you sometimes you. You, it's so important, and I already forgot again this time to tell you that to make someone an assistant, and so that they have give them the microphone, so that they have the ability to tell you when there's any problems. It, it's it's not so much problems with the computer and the program; it's problems with you knowing what they're seeing. So, looks like we got it all in just one video. That's it for screen sharing. I'll probably think of some more because there are some workarounds. Bye-bye.